Mmm, I love the smell of glacé cherries. And sometimes you get a muffin with a cherry on the top. But today we're going to use all the cherries in the muffins. These are my glacé cherry muffins. The ingredients you need for 12 muffins are 200 grams of softened butter, 200 grams of caster sugar, four medium eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, 200 grams of self-raising flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of milk, and 200 grams of glacé cherries. Well, before we get started, I need to put my ready, steady, cook apron on. And I'm no good at tying the back, so Paul is here to help. Thank you very much. Nice and tight. Oh, not that tight, my dear. Oh, I don't want to be strangled. Are you doing it in a double bow, or how do you Just do it? Just one bow. Okay. One's enough. Is that it? Do you want more? <laughs> no, no, I think it's tight enough. So let's get started. I've preheated the oven to 220 Celsius. So now we've got our butter and it's been sitting out for a while to make sure that it's softened. So this is going to go into the whisk. Like so. And joining it is the sugar. And we want to whisk it until it becomes pale and fluffy. Now this is the, the hard bit. I try to get this thing in. Paul's going to help me. Right, okay, so let's get it going. Okay, so I think that is good enough. And now we want to add the eggs one at a time and we whisk after adding each one. So I've got them all measured out here. So um, egg number one goes in and we'll start whisking again. And we repeat the process with all four. Okay, so all four eggs have been whisked and now we want to add our vanilla extract. And we whisk again. Right, so the next stage is to add the flour and the baking powder. And what we want to do is we have the bowl over here now and we're going to add the flour into the sieve, like so. And the baking powder as well. And we're just going to sift that. Oh, look, it's snowing into the mixture. And this will get rid of any lumps. Now I've got my wooden spoon at the ready, and now we just fold the flour and the baking powder into the mix and this should thicken it up a bit. Going quite gently because I don't want to get flour all over my lovely apron more than anything else. Get the bits from the side. And you can see how this is really thickening up now. I really want to lick the spoon but I can't because there are more ingredients to be added in a it's moment. It's just stuff on the side. Now we add the milk into the bowl. And we fold again, and this will slightly loosen the mixture. Now Paul has very kindly chopped the glacé cherries into halves. You could quarter them, um, but it's a rather sticky job. 
halves. <laughs> <laughs> so halves is as much as we could expect from Paul today. Ooh, they look lovely. Mmm, delicious. And I haven't even tasted any of it yet. So we then just simply fold the cherries into the mix as well. And I think this is the point where I get to lick the spoon and look, whoa. There's so much on it. Mmm. Oh, I love this. Shouldn't you put it mm. in first? Mmm. And by mouth, you mean? <laughs> mouth intense. Mm. It's lovely. <laughs> mm. Although eat too much of that and you'll be sick. Now what do we do? Now! We have our cases already. There should be enough mixture for 12 muffins. And of course the idea is that we want to get some cherries in each one. And as we go along, we can refill um, as, as necessary to make sure that each one has got roughly an equal amount. How high will it um, pack up? Well, we have used self-raising flour, so they will rise up. They'll certainly rise up above the, uh, the level the of the case. Yeah. So that is pretty much this most looks, of the mixture, yeah. Th this one, and maybe this one looks underwhelming. Yes, so we can go and use a little bit more now to fill up any that have a shortfall. Maybe this one as well. But you can see it was roughly the right amount for 12. So they go into the oven now, and it's a two-stage cooking process. We put them in, first of all, at 220 degrees Celsius for five minutes. I shouldn't really have opened the door there. But now we want to cook the muffins for a further 15 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. But a word of warning, this is when you are allowed to have a look into the oven because once they have risen and they look as though they're cooked, you should take them out. So you may need a little bit of extra time or a little bit of less time. Uh, but here we go at 180 degrees and to start off with at least, We'll do our 15 minutes, but keep an eye on them. We hope you are being entertained by our YouTube channel. If you are, please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, I can smell it already. Now, don't be alarmed because We've had a little bit of a mishap, I think. But of course, the proof is in the eating, not the looking of it. So here we are. <laughs> I've already stuck a knife in one of them and it's come out completely clear. Um, I think that's just a hole where the uh, the cherry was, but oh, smell like it smells like an absolutely huge cake. And a natural <laughs> fact. You could have made it into a huge you cake. You could have made it into a huge cake. Now we will let them cool down a bit because it's absolutely roasting at this stage and then we will have a taste test. Come and get them while they're hot, Paul. Mmm. Ooh, that's cute. Yeah, they are, they are a little bit like sort of mini cakes rather than muffins, but let's, let's give this a go. Mmm. 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 I haven't had a cherry yet, let's just a little bit of cherry. Nuts. Mmm. Do you know something? Eating them while they're warm, I think that's quite good. Because we're impatient. Mmm. <laughs> it's just it's so juicy. Can we have another one? Do you know what I was just going to say? Mmm. 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 Okay. They are quite hot, so just be careful while you peel this off. Mmm. 
Now, we did use self-raising flour, so I'm a little bit sort of confused as to why they didn't rise up as much as they have. Do you think you put too much in each one? Maybe I did, yes. But I used the right amount of ingredients mm. and the correct number of cupcake holders. This is very Moorish. Yeah. <laughs> All I'm thinking is, I did use an American recipe. Huh? Are the cupcake holders bigger in the US? I think so. Ah, <laughs> that's probably it. I think so. Everything's bigger in the US. No. That's, that's why I'm so happy when I'm over there. I think maybe we filled it up too much. Okay, well, they, they taste the same anyway. I think we're not superficial, so I think that these muffins mm are still delicious. Mm. See you next time. I'm gonna finish all these now, then we're gonna be sick. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bye. Oh look, there's bits there. Aren't, aren't those the best bits? Mmm. Mmm. Pick it all off. One Nothing. more? Oh god no. That might be overdoing it a bit. Do you, you want to split one? No, I'm good. Mm-mm. Are you sure? No. Mmm. Well, they are nice, huh?